Howdy there, crypto friends, checking in on the space. We have daily bounces underway. So we've gone from a period of a lower high every single day for seven days to that breaking. We're still looking for a lower high compared to our last pivot point up at $10,025 or $10,030. So plenty of space for that lower high to form. The question that we have now is, will the size of the bounce favor a daily higher low and potential trend change, giving us a weekly higher low or... Will the size of the bounce top out soon and favor further downside? So we're watching the range and to help gauge that, we can look at the size of the pullback, which ended up being about $1,600. And we know that the midway point of the bounce would be about 9,200. We also have the daily exponential resistance to have as a visual guide as well. Bottom line out of all of that is we still have not changed the four hour trend. This move is coming straight off the low. It's a significant move. We are anticipating a four hour higher low is the most like, likely result when we do top out, but a four hour trend change is still needed for this bounce to have follow through on the daily time frame. I'm still in my initial Bitcoin position with an average around 8,700. I would like to drop to lower lows before finding a monthly higher low, as I would like to continue scaling in the long term game plan position that I've talked about in past videos. Bitcoin dominance chart. Still consolidating, still looking for a higher low compared to 6361. But again, we have not seen a scenario anytime recently where a Bitcoin bull move has resulted in gains against altcoins. Altcoins have been keeping up with the Bitcoin bull moves. It's the pullbacks where the altcoins are making their progress. That might be changing. The fact that we have a solid green day today on Bitcoin and the fact that the dominance chart is red. Actually, no, it's not changing. It's, it's staying the same. That's telling me that the altcoins are gaining on Bitcoin on a green day. ETH USD. So the pattern of the lower high every day has broken. It's a bit of a falling wedge. If you look at the four hour time frame into how the bounce started for Bitcoin, these lower lows were not getting much follow through. Less than $100. Then this last one was only $29 of follow through. And essentially it was just bears getting exhausted and losing their short term control. For Ethereum, we had a clear four hour equilibrium that broke bear, but the bottom level did not break. Definitely a bit of a fake out before the break for the bulls happened. So the only way to not get faked out there is putting a stop under 209.26 and having more wiggle room. So on this bounce now, we're looking for a daily lower high compared to 278.13. And the four hour has not changed the trend. We are overextended and we need a four hour higher low to form sooner rather than later. ETH BTC sideways. So how this chart breaks, I would be looking at the 12 hour. How this 12 hour tightening time frame breaks is going to dictate whether Ethereum continues to gain on Bitcoin or not. And we can see that this move, because this candle is green, we know on the solid green day for Bitcoin, Ethereum is a bit stronger. LTC USD bounce underway. Plenty of space for the daily lower high compared to 80.75. Four hour, has the trend changed? The answer is no. So bears can be looking to do a number of things. If, they want, if you want to be an aggressive bear, you're scaling in right now, knowing four hour consolidation is due. If you want to be a conservative bear, you're waiting for the loss of the four hour uptrend, which isn't even formed yet, but you're gonna wait for that to be a signal that the daily lower high has been set. XRP, bounce anything under 285.55 is just a lower high on the daily time frame. Four hour chart, also had a equilibrium bear break, but did not break the low. And now we're looking up at 248 as short term resistance, which has not broken yet. And actually neither has 2427. So a couple of resistances on the four hour that have not broken. And again, we compare it to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has broken some of its four hour resistances. 89.73 still remains. Link positioned way better for the bulls. Daily higher low already established. The bounce already happened to find the daily lower high. The lower high was 436. The higher low is 375. And a bull break of 436 will regain the trend change for the bulls, which will then have us say our weekly higher low is clearly established. We're looking back at the 488 high. So bulls hoping for a bit more follow through on this crypto bounce 
to get over that 436 level. It is the strongest name out of the names we cover. XTZ has to get over 299. We might as well call it $3 for any kind of meaningful follow through on this bull move. It's still in a tightening range to a certain degree. We broke support by seven pennies. We held the bottom level like most names did, but on this move, $3 is a triple top. And if we do not break $3, bulls are not going anywhere. And bears are sitting there and waiting at that $3 resistance. BCHUSD bounce underway. Anything under 409.66 is a daily lower high. Have we changed the four hour trend? Answer is no. Four hour bear break didn't break the bottom most level. And BSV USD, pretty significant bounce underway. One of the leaders at this point, percentage wise. And resistance, 301.43. Anything under that is a lower high. Four hour time frame. You could say it established a little higher low at 220.11 before continuation. It's more support established here than on most of the coins we just looked at on the four hour time frame. So overall, four hour consolidation likely due in the near term future. There is a bit of correlation between Bitcoin and the broader S&P 500 right now, but it's not enough for me to be paying significant attention. I have to see that correlation in both directions for a bit more significant time frame in order to say that that is the case. So keeping an eye out for four hour consolidation, the question will be, can it be a bull flag? Is it going to be a significant pullback that then has us looking for an equilibrium? So the kind of consolidation we see tells us what's most likely from there. Either a bull flag favoring continuation of the bounce on the daily chart, or the pullback is significant enough to then be anticipating a four hour tightening range into middle of this week. So we'll take it one day at a time as always. The daily downtrend is the prevailing shorter term trend to be watching at this point. And again, the size of the bounce is going to dictate what is the most likely scenario, daily trend change or lower high and lower lows. We'll continue to check back in. Hope you had a good weekend. And we'll end it here with a little nature story. So yesterday, I was planting some more seedlings in trays, keeping them inside for now. But broccoli, cauliflower, I already did tomatoes and flowers and cabbage and all that good stuff. And the geese are back. So we have the two ducks that are back and they're here every day now. And seven of the geese returned and they grew up here last year. They left a little bit sooner, but it was a family of five babies and two adults and they're all back. Not sure if they're gonna breed again or what cause it's gonna get crowded quick, but they were all in the pond and I left out the front door and I looked down the pond and I saw the ducks and the geese all really close together. I thought that's strange. And then I saw they were all looking in the same direction. And this was middle of the day about noon and there was a brown fox. I thought it was a small dog at first, but there was a fox walking around the edge of the pond and it made its way like it wanted to get into the pond. There was no chance it was gonna get any of these animals and the geese all started, as the fox started to try and make his way to water's edge, the geese started to square up against him and let him know that that wasn't gonna fly. So first time I've seen a fox on the property and a very interesting dynamic. The geese and the ducks get along really well. They definitely hang out with each other and let each other get close and don't mind each other. So we'll see how the family unit develops from here. Do good things.